Hi, my name is Robert Shelley with Shelley Law, and my firm assists physicians with employment contract issues. Uh, <clears throat> today, I'm going to talk about uh, how to accept a physician job offer. Uh, kind of a simple topic, but it does come up, uh, you know, every once in a while when someone says, "All right, how am I officially attached to this job?" So, really, there, there's two documents um, that matter in this scenario for a physician. Um, it, it, many times the physician will receive an offer letter or a letter of intent, which kind of describes kind of the basic structure of the contract. So in the offer letter, it will usually state, uh, this is your salary. Here's how you're bonused. Maybe some of the benefits that the physician will receive how long the contract lasts, maybe some basic terms for the non-compete, uh, the non-solicit, signing bonus, relocation assistance, uh, you know, just the basic terms without any kind of like uh, structured language, just this is your salary, you know, this is how long the contract is, that type of thing. So those are the things that are in the offer letter. And so in that case, the employer will then say, all right, we need to agree on kind of the essential basic terms of the agreement you sign the offer letter, and then at that point, we will draft an employment contract and send it to you for review. Uh, is the offer letter binding? No, it's not. Uh, I, in some very limited circumstances, if there is language in the offer letter, uh, it's possible uh, that it could be binding, but for the most part, no, absolutely not, it's not. Uh, there, there are many times where, um, maybe the basic terms of the offer letter are the same in the contract, but there is language in the contract that makes that contract absolutely terrible for the physician. So for instance, maybe the non-compete isn't listed in the offer letter, read the contract, and it's an absolutely restrictive non-compete that maybe may force someone to move out of a city um, that they cannot move out of. Uh, so in that case, uh, you know, if the physician reviews the employment contract and they decide that this is not something I'm interested in, or they can start negotiating with the employer and it's clear that the employer isn't going to make the changes that are necessary for the physician to be uh, comfortable in that position, the physician can say, okay, I know I signed the offer letter. I understand that. But after reviewing this employment agreement, this is not something I'm comfortable with or willing to move forward uh, on. And so in that case, the physician would just simply say, I'm not signing the employment agreement unless changes are made. If the employer says we're not making the changes, then the parties can just agree to disagree and move on. And the uh, physician is not bound to any of the terms of the contract because they've only signed the offer letter. So how to accept the job? You sign the agreement, it's that simple. So uh, once again, if you're provided the offer letter and you maybe haggle over some terms and then they offer the physician the actual employment agreement, um, the, the physician is not necessarily bound to the terms of the offer letter. As I said before, things can change that maybe in the offer letter job looks great, but when you get into the minutia of the details of the contract, it's not so great. So uh, you can absolutely still negotiate terms for the employment agreement, even if some of the terms have been agreed to in the offer letter. But let's say they get the employment agreement, maybe the physician, the employer go back and forth, they reach, you know, they come to some kind of decision that where they're both happy the way to accept the job offer is simply sign the agreement. Um, I had a scenario recently where a physician was offered a job, went in, interviewed, you know, saw the clinic, saw the hospital, everyone involved, everybody was happy. He made plans. His wife had accepted a job in the city as well. They gave him an employment contract to review and then out of the blue, we're sending the offer. Uh, in that scenario, it's, it's, a, it's a really tough place. It does not happen very often, but in that case, the, you know, the physician was out of luck. I mean, I, I guess there could be some kind of claims 
uh, for um, what we'd call promissory estoppel, or you know, they relied upon the acceptance of the agreement or the offer, and you know, like their wife got a job, they're planning on moving, you know, things happen. But unfortunately, um, you know, kind of the business climate can affect things, and then the employer can simply take the offer away at some point. So even if the employer has verbally said, we are offering you this job and the employee says, or the physician says, yes, I accept this job, but they haven't signed any employment agreement, it's just not gonna hold any water. So to accept a physician job formally, you need to execute the employment agreement both parties, the physician and the employer, and then at that point, the you know the parties are bound to the terms of the agreement. So anyway, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always contact our firm at the phone number listed below in the description, uh, or you can reach us through our website at shellylaw.com. That's C-H-E-L-L-E law.com. And I appreciate you watching the video. Thanks.